Hi Springfieldians and welcome back to the Treehouse of Horror Month. They're showing a Halloween episode in November. After counting down every beheading, disembowelment and vaporation of the Treehouse of Horror 1 to 25, we are finally near the end. And in this video, we'll be counting down the deaths from the very latest Treehouse specials. And there are so many kills to talk about. So I'm Lydia and this is the Treehouse of Horror kill count 26 to 31. But before we begin, I just want to say a big thank you to my latest Flying Hellfish Patreon, Spinellium. You and your fellow members are really helping me dedicate more time to the channel and allowing me to make it better and better. If you'd like to join the club, then check out the link in the description below. Now I must admit it, I hate to say it, but I made a bit of a boo-boo in the last episode and obviously overestimated my math skills. In this mountain of Susimpians, I counted 430 when it should have been 480. So let's add 50 onto the kill count. Oh yeah, and one more thing, you lovely viewers have reminded me that I miss Ralph's death from WizKids and Treehouse 12. Dying tickles. Therefore, our starting kill count is 1,441. So let's skip past that embarrassing little tidbit and get started. Treehouse of Horror 26. In an artistically groovy couch gag, we see Nelson, Millhouse, Ralph, and Jessica Lovejoy hanging from a tree. Their spirits are then blown out of their bodies as they chase after Bart, Lisa, and Maggie. And they run into Frank Grimes, who has risen from the dead. He grabs onto Bart and peels him like a banana and sucks out his gooey insides. However, Bart is literally in the next shot running away, so we won't count that as a death. However, Grimey does succeed to some extent as he does get to rip out Homer's soul and eats it. I bet that's some delicious payback after all those years. Wanted Dead Than Alive is the moment where Sideshow Bob finally gets to kill Bart, again and again. Because killing the prankster just once isn't enough. I mean, he did have to go through all those bloody rakes to get to him. After shooting Bart with a spear gun, he tears out his intestines for a nice warm scarf. However, Sideshow Bob feels that his life is no longer fulfilling after accomplishing his long conquest to kill Bart. So he builds a reanimating machine so he can butcher the boy again and again in new sadistic ways. When he brings Bart back to life the first time, he kills him with a sledgehammer. Twice. He then goes on to bring him back several times in new and brutal ways. He shoots him point blank in the face, he's mauled by a lion, flattened with a steamroller, dies of a heart attack after seeing the electricity bill of the machine, makes him into fruit punch and finally cuts him into pieces. And the family finally get to save Bart from a lifetime of unending kills by knocking out Bob. Homer then hacks off his head with a lamp. In Homerzilla, Homer is a giant monster that can only be appeased with donuts. While seasoning a donut, Grandpa chokes to death on some stray sprinkles. Now, a ghost he meets is the spirit of Marge's father, but not wanting to spend the rest of eternity with Grandpa, he stabs himself, becoming a ghost of a ghost. But I'm reluctant to count this death, as well, he's already dead. Without his donut offering, Homerzilla turns up and goes on a rampage. He starts by roasting Mo into a pile of ashes. He then stamps on Frank. And after working up a sweat destroying the city, Homerzilla dabs his face with Chalmers before throwing him into a burning building. In the final segment, Telepaths of Glory, Milhouse gains special powers and instantly starts to abuse them, like throwing his Billy Kearney into a volcano. But before he can kill anyone else, he is zapped by Maggie, who also has powers for some unknown reason. This leaves Treehouse 26 with 21 deaths. Treehouse of Horror 27. This special has an insane amount of kills. My pencil almost made a fire of my notepads with all the tallies. The episode starts with the Simpsons shopping for a Christmas tree when Sideshow Bob, Kang, Grimy, and the Leprechaun jump out. But before they can attack the family, Maggie, like the little psychopath she is, springs into action and slices off all their heads. And I'm only gonna count three here as Frank Grimes was already a ghost and thus unfazed by the beheading. Instead, his punishment is to watch all 600 episodes of The Simpsons and that's seen as a fate worse than death. For him anyway. 
We then go straight into our first segment, Dry Hearts. Mr. Burns introduces a contest where the Springfieldian children have to fight to their death. And like the Hunger Games it parodies, there are a lot of kills. So let's get counting. And in true fashion, as the games are about to begin, Ralph steps off his podium a bit too eagerly and explodes. During the battle, Homer parachutes into the arena and lands on Peter and Pitta. Gerald Sampson is killed by his own gun recoiling, leaving only an eyebrow behind. Wendell is impaled by Nelson's sword. Barney cuts off Ned's head and impales it onto his car. And Nelson is shot with an arrow by Milhouse. At the end, we see Mr. Burns face down in the snow, probably killed by a mob. Next is BFF RIP. Lisa's imaginary best friend, Rachel, is jealous of Lisa's best friends and starts getting rid of them so they can spend more time together. So she starts by running down Janie with a lawnmower and topples a tombstone over Sherry and Terry. Rachel then goes on to kill Lisa's counsellor with a painting. And then she suffocates Milhouse with a plastic bag. Lisa is blamed for his death and sent to jail. When Bart tries to break his sister out, we see Wigan being held hostage by Snake, who then shivs him in the neck. We then have a quick glimpse into Lisa's mind, where we see her running over Buddha with a car. And this one made me angry. Lisa's imaginary friend then attempts to kill Marge and Homer. And while strangling him, Homer calls his imaginary friend Sergeant Sausage for help but she drags him into the kitchen and cooks him in the microwave where he explodes. So to put an end to the slaughter, Lisa turns Rachel into her mother and she slowly fades out of existence. But when Homer is eating Sergeant Sausage, his imaginary friends return and says, as an imaginary friend, I can never die. So let's deduct those two previous imaginary friends from the kill count. In Mo Finger, Bart is running away from his bullies and is cornered by Dolph, Jimbo and Kearney. But before they can get their hands on him, Mo comes to the rescue by taking out all three boys. Mo then tells Bart that his drunken patrons are actually covert agents and he wants Bart to join their team in Homer's place, Kingsman style. While Mo and Bart are talking about their mission, we see Carl fencing with a robot in the background. When he stabs the machine, he gets electrocuted and seeing as we don't actually see him again in the episode, it's probably safe to say that he died. And an all out fight begins with Bart taking out the entire town. So many die in this scene, so let's just count them as it goes. Disco Stew is stabbed in the eye with a cue stick, he twists off Sideshow Mel's head, decapitates Wolfcastle, stabs Jasper in the eye with the meat fork, cooks Skinner's face on a barbecue, and disembowels Nelson with a candy apple. While all this is happening, people are dying left, right, and centre. And it was pretty tricky, but I counted 56 deaths. And after this immense bloodbath, the final person to be killed is Homer, who is stabbed in the back by Bart. Rounding off Treehouse 27 with 76 deaths. Treehouse of Horror 28. In the bowl, we see the Simpsons family as well as 12 other sentient candies. And they are all eaten except for the Simpsons. The Simpsons then eat a talking chocolate bunny who wishes to be put out of its misery. In The Exorcist, Maggie gets possessed by an evil demon called Pazuzu. And one of Maggie's toys, a koi boy doll, comes alive and blasts his own stuffing out with a gun. Evil Maggie then impales Helen Lovejoy through the head with a fire poker, before stabbing Dr. Hibbert in the neck with a thermometer. Ned then restrains Maggie with Bible ribbons, but she uses her power to beat him with a toy telephone and chokes him with a toy car. In Coralisa, Lisa discovers the doorway to an alternate universe, where her family has buttons where their eyes should be. And when the family finally find out about the secret passageway, they enter the world, and Homer immediately strangles Button Bart until his head pops off. In the final segment, mmm, Homer, Homer finds out that he tastes delicious after eating a severed finger, and he starts to eat himself alive quite literally. He even twists a corkscrew into his ear to pull out some gooey brain matter for batter flavour. 
and after making a cupcake, he yanks out a tooth for cupcake decoration. He then cuts off his stomach skin and fingers to make some tasty dishes. And after Marge catches Homer frying his own leg, she finally takes him to an addiction counsellor. But this doesn't really work, as sooner or later, Mario Batali, in search for new ingredients, convinces Homer to let him serve what's left of him in several restaurants across Springfield. And at the end of the episode, Carl says that they also served Barney and Comic Book Guy. Leaving Treehouse 28 with 21 deaths. Treehouse of Horror 29. The episode starts with Homer having an eating contest with Cthulhu. After Homer wins, he cooks the giant creature and the family have a feast. And we go straight into the intrusion of pod wise snatchers. The entire town is overrun by plant body snatchers, and everybody transforms into plant versions of themselves while the real bodies are transported into another world. A few of the plant imposters are killed in this segment, such as Wiggum, who is shot by Lou, and although the real version is later seen in the other world, the plant version is still dead. Lou then goes on to run over five plant Springfieldians with his car. When Lisa is overtaken by a plant, she hallucinates and sees the green giant eating his own son. Next is Multiplasty, a parody of the film Split, where a multi-personality Lisa locks Bart, Milhouse and Nelson inside a cell. And also in the cell with them is Dead Willy with an axe in his head. And they manage to escape, but Nelson is impaled by a forklift. The final segment is Geriatric Park, a parody of the Jurassic Park franchise. Mr. Burns opens up a Jurassic-themed retirement home after giving the senior citizens dino DNA. And while showing a presentation of how DNA transformation works, an old man turns into a dinosaur and bites off the head of two people. And while in the lab, a little dinosaur jumps onto Smithers' Adam's apple and chokes him to death. And when the dino DNA manifests, all hell breaks loose. Dinosaur Agnes eats Skinner, Mole Man is stomped on by a dinosaur, Kirk's head is torn off and dumped into a head bin, Professor Frank is beaten to death by his other scientist peers, and a staff member is whipped by a tail and sent flying. Oh yeah, and Mr. Burns is swallowed whole at the very end. Rounding off Treehouse 29 with 19 deaths. Treehouse of Horror 30. The episode starts with the parody of The Omen, with Maggie strangling Dr. Hibbert with a stethoscope and thrown into a baby incubator and cremated. And impales Homer, Marge and Ned with stone pillars. And the first segment in this episode is Danger Things, a parody of, you guessed it, Stranger Things. Uta is killed by the over-under and comic book guys eaten by a mind flayer. Carl and Lenny are also eaten, and Old Gil is torn apart from the inside by branches. In the episode, Homer also tortures eight demigorgons, including the one that looks like Flanders. The next segment is Heaven Swipes Right. While at a football game, a vendor throws a hot dog straight down Homer's throat and he chokes to death. And when he gets to heaven, he is told he is too early and is sent back down to earth in a new body. And it turns out that Homer can now choose any body he wants. So naturally he chooses Super Nintendo Chalmers. And therefore, Chalmers is now dead because of this choice. Boom, he's dead. In When Harry Met Slimy, Selma and Kang strike up a romance, and while the two are getting it on, the creature from the shape of water rises up, but they end up cooking it. Selma helps the alien escape where they go to the top of Mount Springfield. But before they can flee in a spaceship, Selma is shot by the military. So Kang pulls out his infinity gauntlet and turns 28 soldiers into dust. And then kills Burns with an empty can. Now Kang does bring Selma back to life, so annoyingly let's deduct her death from the counter. Ending Treehouse 30 with 49 deaths. Treehouse of Horror 31. Yes, this is the most recent 2020 Treehouse of Horror episode. The town of Springfield is voting for the next president. And Marge calls up Homer to tell him that he needs to vote. Instead, Homer decides to take a nap. And in his dream, he has shown a big long list of deplorable things President Trump has ever done. When he wakes up, Marge scorns him for not voting. So Homer brushes it off and says, how bad can it be? Quite bad, actually, as Springfield is 
is now an apocalyptic hellhole. Like it wasn't already. A homeland security robot kicks Mole Man, sending him flying. We then go into our first segment, Toy Gory. By the way, I have to say that I love the CGI animation in this segment. Bart is choosing which toys to donate, but before doing so, he decides to torture them first. And if you thought Toy Story Sid was bad, you ain't seen nothing yet. Bart is given a brand new Radioactive Man doll, and when he talks to the other toys, he finds out he's not in safe hands. And he's right. Bart does a whole Sergeant Sausage and throws Radioactive Man into a microwave, where he blows up. In revenge for their fallen comrade, the other toys kidnap Bart and make him into a toy. They tear out his insides and replace it with Tinker Toys and build a bear. So he is now completely brain dead. In Into the Homerverse, Homer accidentally brings in other Homers from other dimensions, like Bear Version, Princess, Noir, 8-Bit and Anime Homer. The other Homers soon start terrorising the town by emptying buffets and over-bowling bowling alleys. And when they empty out Krusty Burger, they bring in other alternatives for meat, including poor old Gil. The episode continues its tradition of beheading Ned, this time with a gun. When the Homer is about to return to their own world, they are stopped by Mr Burns, who isn't willing to give up cheap, undocumented labour. So he brings in his own versions of himself from other universes and an all-out battle ensues. Original Homer is zapped to death, Bear Homer is blasted with a shotgun, 8-bit Homer is burnt to death, Noir Homer is stabbed, Anime Homer is headbutted so hard that his eyes explode and Princess Homer dies after drinking poisoned beer. At the end of the episode, we do see 8-Bit and Noir Homer alive and well. This is a tricky one. But just to avoid arguments, let's deduct two from the kill counter. The final segment is B9 Rewind. Lisa is celebrating her ninth birthday after being eight years old for three decades. Does this mean it's broken the Simpsons timeline? Nah, this isn't canon, remember? But blimey, there are so many deaths in this one. At her party, a car crashes into the house and kills her. And she wakes up to find that the day has restarted and in a Groundhog Day style, the day repeats itself. So when the car crashes into the living room again, she throws Milhouse in the way where he goes soaring. Nelson tells her that he also relives the same day again and again. When Lisa is getting excited about the possibilities, the treehouse falls on both of them and kills them. Upon waking up, Lisa is immediately crushed underneath the collapsing ceiling. And then a mirror falls on her head. Next, Ralph is run over by a car. When Nelson attempts to high-five Lisa, he falls out of the window and into a wood chipper, and Lisa jumps in after him. Next, we see Lisa blowing out her candles, only to set fire to Nelson and herself. And when she blows out the next time, they are both somehow impaled by a kitchen knife. Next, they are crushed by an air conditioner. And fed up with being killed, they try to break the loop. They do this by trying to throw a cinder block into Gil's car window, causing him to collide into the tree. Poor old Gil. Now that the loop has been broken, both Lisa and Nelson fade into nothingness. So that's Treehouse 31 with 27 deaths. So there we have it, there have been 1,654 deaths throughout the 31 Treehouse of Horror specials. The Simpsons creators are some seriously sick and twisted individuals, but that's why we love them. It's been really fun to go back and rewatch every single Treehouse of Horror, so I'm sorry if I missed out any kill throughout the specials that you think needs to be counted, but it's a good discussion to have down in the comments. And also another good thing to discuss is how your favourite kill happened. What character do you love seeing killed again and again? Let me know in your comments below. I would like to take this moment to say thank you to my gorgeous flying hellfish patrons, James Whitehead, Timothy Belson, who else but Zane, Pingu and Spine Ilium. If you would like to support the channel and get early access to videos and other benefits, then check out the link in the description below. Thank you very much for watching and smell you later.